By now, you've surely seen everyone and their grandmother playing buckshot roulette. But I, unlike most Americans, am afraid of guns. So I wanted to see if I could get through this entire game without being shot one single time. A perfect game of buckshot roulette. And however hard you think that is, whoa, boy, do I have some news for you. Because in order to play what's effectively eight perfect games of Russian roulette back to back, I had to get insanely lucky, learn the absurd minutia of the meta, and oh god, learn complex statistics. Why did I do this to myself? So this is how I rolled a 1 in 342 chance and played the perfect game of Buckshot Roulette. So for those whose only familiarity with this game is seeing your least favorite male manipulator play it on TikTok Live, let me give you a brief rundown of Buckshot. You start the game by walking into the room with none other than your mom, who claims to be a dealer and challenges you to a game of Russian Roulette using a shotgun. Just like the real game, the gun is loaded with some actual bullets and then some blanks. You take turns shooting each other back and forth until the other one loses all of their lives. The only rule, if you can even call it that, is that if you shoot yourself with a blank round, you get to go again. So after the dealer shows us a quick gun safety video, it's time to get shooting. The first round has the dealer load the gun with two blanks and a live round. When I first played the game, my instinct was, of course, to shoot myself first. With two blanks inside the gun, there's a 66% chance of you getting a blank, which would mean you get to go again, which makes sense, right? Well, while that makes sense in theory, in terms of statistics, you actually couldn't be more incorrect. You see, while you are actually more likely to shoot yourself, you have to think what happens happens after that. You hit the 66% chance and get to go again. Congrats! Now, there's a live round and a blank, and you have a 50% chance. So by succeeding, you actually worsened your odds. Instead, it's actually way better statistically to take the 33% chance of hitting him, and then let him take the 50% chance. This brings our odds all the way from 50% to 80%. From there, we've taken one of the dealer's lives, but we still got one more left. He reloads the gun, this time with three bullets and two blanks. Once again, it's best to just shoot him here, as we've got a 60% chance to kill him, and if we get the 40% chance and shoot a blank at him, he then takes a 50% chance to either kill us or himself. Kind of. He could technically shoot us or himself with a blank, which then means there's three live rounds, but the chance of him doing the first thing and then the second thing is, uh, well, um, dude, I don't know. I dropped out of statistics in high school. You, you just gotta shoot him, all right? By plugging this into a probability calculator, if we play optimally, we get a 53.2% chance. Okay, yeah, this is all just a coin flip, because like I said before, we don't just have to win. We have to never get hit. Thankfully, this coin flip happens so early on that if you fail, it's pretty easy to start a new run. From here, we can move on to round two, and this is, to me, the hardest part of the entire game. You see, in this round, we're introduced to items, and if you thought there was variance before, oh my god, we haven't even started. Let me briefly explain what each item does, and most importantly, why I hate the cigarettes so much, oh my god, I feel like the truth campaign. Okay, firstly, you have the magnifying glass. This lets you peer inside the chamber of the gun to see what the next round will be. And while this sounds insanely overpowered, for our purposes, it's actually not as helpful as you might think for a reason I'll explain later. Next up, we have the handcuffs, or as I call them this whole playthrough for some reason, the chainsaw. Should we beer or chainsaw here? The chainsaw skips the opponent's turn. So if I put the handcuffs on the dealer, I can shoot him and then get to shoot him again before he can attack. Getting the chainsaw is practically necessary in most runs. As you'll see, the amount of bullets gets larger and larger in the gun, and not only do you need to shoot the dealer, but you also need to deny him shooting you. And what really helps with that is our next item, the beer. That's my perfect Friday night. A pair of handcuffs and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and what does beer do? Well, other than making you look freaking awesome. Hey y'all, Shawnee here. I've been informed by my legal team that I should clarify that drinking is in fact not actually awesome. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of death in America every single year. So if you decide to drink, please drink responsibly. Is what I would say if I was a little freaking baby. The beer allows you to remove whatever the next round is from the gun. This has two real uses. Firstly, it can allow you to shift the odds of whatever you're doing. Say the dealer loads up a blank and a bullet. If you use the beer and a blank comes out, well, now you know it's shooting time. The other use for the beer is to deny the dealer the power to shoot you. Next up, we have the knife. And the knife allows you to saw off the front of the shotgun and have your next hit do two damage. And finally, we have, oh God, the cigarettes. Now, just like Lucille Ball said in this Philip Morris commercial that I definitely Trust, the cigarettes in this game actually heal you. The cigarettes are actually doubly bell and really just a huge thorn in my side. If you happen to get a cigarette, well, that's completely useless since we won't be taking any damage this entire run. It's also annoying because if you need to hand the gun back to the dealer, even if it has all blanks in it, the dealer can sit there, do his best impression of my stepdad, and suddenly he's back to full health. The second round starts off and they're given a whopping four lives. And every time the shotgun is refilled, you're given two more items. This is where the variance comes in. Not only do you have to get the right odds on the bullets now, but you also have to get the right odds on the items. Double cigarettes, are you joking? Since you only 
only get two items, round two is extremely difficult and was far and away the major choke point of the run. So many runs would get here and then just lose to bad item draws. Around an hour into grinding this out, I actually got a pretty lucky draw in a chainsaw and a knife. The first load in round two is always one blank and one live round. So I use the chainsaw on the dealer and shoot a blank. Then because his turn gets skipped and I know that the real bullet remains, I can use the knife to hit him for two damage. This puts me in a really good position going into the next load. Unfortunately, I pull cigarette and beer here, which can technically get you through the round, as the next load is always two bullets and two blanks. I'd have to beer a bullet, then shoot him, then I could give the gun back to the dealer with just blanks in it. That, of course, doesn't happen here, and I get shot straight back to square one. After some time, I get back to round two. This time, I have a beer and a knife, which lets me hit the dealer for two. However, from here, I draw cigarette magnifying glass, and with a lucky blank on myself, I'm able to hand the gun over to him with one blank and one bullet inside it. But from here, instead of shooting, the dealer uses one of his beers, dumping the last live round and allowing us to barely hold on. This run unfortunately went down to the toilet eventually, but what's even more important here is that the dealer really likes beer. Like, he will drink it even when it doesn't even make any sense. I, I know this sounds stupid right now, but trust me when I say the dealer's alcoholism will be integral to how we win this. But we head back to the beginning once again. Now keep in mind that even though we just have to succeed in a coin flip at the beginning of this run, it takes a long time to get back here. We gotta reload the game, leave the bathroom, walk through this scary hallway, put in our name, listen to the tutorial. So even though I'm going from attempt to attempt, the time in between each one is usually somewhere around 10 to 20 minutes. At this point, I had been grinding for two hours straight, but attempt after attempt just fell straight into the trash. No, no cigarettes, no cigarettes, no cigarettes. Knife. Handcuffs and knife. We need handcuffs and knife. Or magnifying. Because it's odds are that this will be a blank. It was not a blank. No cigarettes. No cigarettes. I think we need to manifest positively. Ooh, okay, this feels positive. So I was gonna say, we keep saying no cigarettes. I think we need to be like, yes, knife. So, yes, yes, knife. Yes. Yeah, you're right, you're right. But finally, after another hour, something amazing happened. Let's use the handcuffs here. Guaranteed one damage on him. So now we get to keep the magnifying glass going into the next round. So as long as we don't get sick, if we get knife here, we're, we're perfect. If we get knife, uh, handcuffs, we're perfect. Nice. Knife, nice. nice. Cigarettes. I think it's actually impossible to win right now. Okay, it's a live round. See, we can knife this, but then he's gonna magnifying glass. Well, he's gonna see what it is. So odds are it's probably a blank. All right, we need knife and beer, I think. Or, okay, I can take chainsaw or whatever that is. Okay. Handcuffs? Chains so do we wanna use chainsaw or magnifying glass here? Cause chainsaw gets rid of a round if you think about it. I think we gotta use magnifying glass. I actually have, I think for what we're doing, magnifying glass is not very good. Okay. Actually, if he gets a knife, it's good for us because it doesn't matter if, I don't care how much damage he does to me, you know? We need knife beer here. 100% we need knife beer here. Okay, this could be a, this could go okay though. From here, we can use the chainsaw, beer out a blank, and then shoot him, leaving just one blank and one bullet left in the gun. So if we shoot a shot, if we shoot a blank, we get to shoot him next turn. If we shoot a shot, we shoot him, and then he's gonna hit us. I mean, either way, it's 50-50. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter what we do, it's just what is gonna make us feel better. <sighs> <laughs> He racks the gun, this time with three live rounds and two blanks. I get a chainsaw and a beer, so I use chainsaw on him. Let me shoot him. Odds are that this will do good. Okay. Odds are not always good. Wait, no, but now there's only one blank in there. Because mm -hmm. right now there's a 75% chance we I shoot, him. shoot him. I right? think we just shoot him, yeah. Yes! Holy crap, we're cooking! <laughs> oh my god, call Gordon! <laughs> Call Gordon. Call Gordon. I'm about to make a thing of shrimp vasucci in my college dorm. Like shrimp vasucci. And with that, we had advanced onto the final stage, round three. If we can just win this, we'll have done the perfect game. This time we're given five lives, but we get four items each round. And having so many items gives us way more flexibility than in round three. After three hours, this was the furthest we had ever gotten. But could we close the deal? Okay, handcuffs. Just, we can't get a second thing of handcuffs. God damn it, the cigarettes. We're done. We're cooked, actually. Like, I'm not joking. We're just cooked. Okay, hold on. Never mind. 
Hold on, never mind. We're not cooked. I handcuffed the dealer and fired two rounds at him, with the second one being real. However, with one blank left in the gun, the dealer gets to heal back up with his cigarette. Okay, let's just focus on getting through each round. That's what's most important. Don't focus on winning. Just focus on getting through each round. This was pretty good. A pretty good pull. We just need chainsaw. Chainsaw! Holy crap! Oh my god, that's so many. All right, so it's 50-50 odds here, right? We can manipulate that using beer. So we should beer first. Okay. So now it's more likely that we'll shoot a blank. And I think because of the amount we have to get through, we need to shoot ourselves here. Yep. That stunk. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hard even getting there. And then we didn't even, we did one damage to him. After losing our best run so far, we tried again and again and again and again. Again! In fact, we tried for so long that Tuesday went to sleep. As I stayed up, I continued my maniacal grinding. But the second she left, things started to look up as I once again made it all the way to round three. But when it was time to pick our items, I got cigarette, beer, chainsaw, and knife. Okay, this kind of sucks. What's the best shot here? Um, shoot ourselves. Okay, now we guaranteed get to kill. Yeah, let's use handcuffs here and then double shoot. If it's a blank, we use knife next turn. Okay. From here, I could use the knife and get two damage off on the dealer. And for my next group items, I get cigarette, beer, handcuffs, and magnifying glass. And he loads the gun with four bullets and four blanks. I beer and get rid of one blank. Now it's four out of seven odds to get a bullet. So I beer it to decrease the chance that the dealer is able to shoot me. From here, I can handcuff him and victory actually seems plausible. Come on. Nice! Wait, crap. I just realized we can't win, right? It's impossible. Yeah, even if we hit him again, he still has a round in there. Or is this gonna cut to the chase? Yeah, this thing happens now. Does this is this gonna start a new round? No, we're screwed. Yeah, I think we're done. Dang it! Because I think it's two blanks in a live, right? Yeah, you can't cigarette out of that. Oh, please, the live round. This is our chance. Oh crap! Damn it! That was our only shot. Okay. And just one shot away from victory, we fail once again. It would be a while until we got back to round three again. Like, a while. Like, homestuck game development, a while. But after eight more attempts at round two, and don't even get me started on how many round one attempts, we're finally just two health away from coming back to round three. Gotta just go for broke. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! We got it! Come on! Please! Please! Yes! Okay. Okay, we're not out of the woods yet, but we're, we're now when we have four items, we have so much more flexibility. Holy crow. Okay. Hold on. Don't come in the kitchen because the kitchen the cook I'm cooking is what I'm trying to say. We need some beers, we need some magnifying glass, we need it. I don't know what else we need. Definitely not that. The oh come on, man. Oh gosh. Just shoot myself first. Nice! Okay, because now we can guarantee to get this. Nice, because now it's a blank. Shoot ourselves. Handsaw. This will hit for two. Okay, maybe we'll get some better items th next time. Chainsaw, beer, magnifying glass, magnifying glass. Okay, four and four. All right. The thing that we need to consider is we only need to hit him twice, right? So I think we magnifying glass here. Okay, pog. Then we handcuffs. We shoot him. All right, now here's the thing. We have to hit him here. So we have magnifying glass. Right now there's more blanks than rounds in there, so we should beer. Okay, and then magnifying glass. Okay, dang, that really sucks. Odds are now in our favor, though. Come on, please. Oh, yeah, we're cooked. We're cooked because, I mean, he's got all this kind of, all these trinkets. Yeah, we're cooked. Okay. Dang it. Ugh. Three to two, but I feel like that was pretty good odds to go out on. Those two freaking cigarettes killed us, man. Those are rough. And after another 40 minutes of attempts, we managed to get back to round three. And although we, spoiler alert, don't win here, what's more important is that we learn something very interesting about the dealer. You see, the dealer's AI is actually quite good. He usually uses items in the most efficient possible order, uses the knife after the magnifying glass, etc. But perhaps the dealer's most impressive skill is that he can count the bullets we've used while playing. Like if there's only one round left in the chamber, just like we will have, the dealer's 
able to count it and know what it is. Or if there's two blanks left in one live, the dealer knows it's in his best interest to shoot himself. But for some reason, beer messes this up. See, watch this clip. My turn ends and I pass the gun to the dealer. Inside of it are two blanks and three bullets. So the best move for the dealer would be to use the magnifying glass here, as then he'd be able to get two shots on me. But, should be two bullets left in there, right? Oh, hold on. He could mess this up for himself. Hold on. Why is he drinking so many beers? Yeah, I think this is a live round. Yep. And while this ended up working out for your mom, this could have ruined its entire turn. Like, what if he had beard out all three bullets, and then he was just stuck with two blanks? From here, I started to notice a pattern in the dealer. That every time I handed the gun back to him, if he had a beer, he'd always drink it. Even when it made no sense for him. Kind of like my ex-wife. Now, I'm no computer programmer, but my theory on why this is, is because the dealer's AI dislikes chance. It likes that when there's only one shot left, it's able to count the bullet and then act accordingly. So the AI will drink as much beer as possible to get to that last bullet, even if it means wasting all of the real bullets. This secret was monumentally helpful in getting more runs online, but after pushing attempt upon attempt late into the night, eventually it gets to be like 2 in the morning and I head to sleep. Kind of like how you should head to the subscribe button right now. That I don't know why I did that with my hands, that felt so weird. I, I mean, you clearly enjoy the video, I mean, look how far in you are. I upload a ton of my long, long playthroughs condensed into an hour for viewing pleasure. In fact, I'm working on a Stardew 100% video later this month, and I've got a massive holiday night video in the works as well. So why not subscribe so you don't miss it? Why did I do the hand thing again? Irregardlessly, I wake up the next morning and get right back to Buckshot. And the biggest revelation I made actually had nothing to do with the physical game at all. As I'm sure you can tell by now, this is gonna take a lot of attempts. So however I can do as many runs as quickly as possible is gonna maximize my odds at pulling this off. Well, luckily for me, Buckshot Roulette is an itty bitty game you can get off the creator's itch.io, which you should definitely check out by the way. So because the game is so tiny, it barely uses any processing power on my computer. Because of this, I get the idea to start running multiple instances of Buckshot at the same time. The game, thankfully, doesn't pause when you alt-tab, so by doing this, I can bypass the need to wait through those cutscenes every single time. This started pretty modestly, with me just running two games at the same time. But eventually, I, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, at one point I tried starting 18 different games at once, and I think that was both my computer's and my mind's breaking point. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that, that might be a lot on... <laughs> on my poor computer. And while this did speed things up a lot, I will say it was definitely not good for my brain chemistry. Like I was half expecting the dealer to pull up some soap cutting videos and Family Guy clips while I played. Also, if you notice a lack of sound in the live action clips for the rest of this video, the reason is because playing this way meant the sound of all six games would layer and uh... <laughs> This new strategy allowed me to play much riskier, particularly in the first stage of round two, as before I'd have to use one or sometimes even two items to get through it. Now I just always took the 50-50, and if it paid off, I could go to the next stage with four items instead of two. Like here, when I was able to save both of my magnifying glasses. This power jump let me easily head to the third round once again. Here I pick up two magnifying glasses, a handcuffs, and a beer. Now I haven't explained this yet, but despite handcuffs being perhaps the best item in the game, it's really important that you use them whenever you can, and to never save them. This is because Buckshot has a rule that you can only handcuff someone once per round. So I use my magnifying glass, find a blank, and shoot it into myself. Then I handcuff the dealer and shoot him twice, knocking his health down to one and giving me a new box of items. This time I get cigarettes, a magnifying glass, a beer, and handcuffs. While this isn't the worst, you really need as many knives as possible to win, so the outlook isn't looking great here. In an attempt to empty the gun of all of its bullets though and deny the dealer an attack, I accidentally beer two blanks and end up getting killed. Damn man, he ended the run with full health. This feels absolutely hopeless. Even though our new techniques helped us get to round three faster, that didn't help the fact that you need to be getting nearly perfect items to win. And I had been grinding this out for seven whole hours now. I was beginning to lose faith and honestly, heavily considered just scrapping this video altogether. But it was then that I got a brilliant idea. I should get a burrito. And with the carne asada in my stomach and a shower for the first time in this entire video, I was ready to finish this thing, no matter how long it took. So with that being said, what are we striving for? What does the 
the perfect item layout look like on round three. Well, even though it says you have six lives here, you really only have five. So if you can just do two knife shots and then one additional shot, you'll win. Additionally, you want to try and have this done just by the second round, as the bullets the dealer loads in the third are way too risky. Not to mention, there's so many of them that he's guaranteed to have a cigarette break. So of the eight items, as long as you can get one handcuff, two knives, and then some combination to make sure you can get three shots off, you'll win. But round three felt like a far outcry at this point, as despite the burrito fueling me, I couldn't even get past round two for a full hour until... Do we take the 50-50 here on the knife? No, I don't think so. I think it's better to take it next turn because we have a chance of getting magnifying glass. Glad. Well, now we can do it, so that's cool. I think with chains, magnifying glass, we could do it. Magnifying glass, show me chains, show me chains, please show me chains. Beer, interesting. Interesting, okay. We need to beer at the top, this needs to be a live round. We need to shoot ourselves, 66% chance. Okay, we got him. Because now we have magnifying glass. Yep. Okay, so then he's only gonna have one life left. So then we just need chains, magnifying glass. Chains? Knife, not useful at all. Chains, okay. We get two shots at least. We only have to hit one. Nice, okay. Final round, baby. Here we go. All right, four items, baby. Okay, beer, chains, magnifying glass. Ugh, we kinda need a knife. We kinda need a knife there. I don't think I should use my magnifying glass this round. I think I should just go for broke. Nice! Knife, 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 knife. Ugh. Knife! Ugh. Uh, not great. We really needed chains there. I think we beer here first. Then I think we beer again. Okay, that's two- that's one live round out, so there's three left. I think we magnifying glass here? Okay. Come on. Oh, that sucks. I think that's curtains, right? Oh, it's curtains. Interesting, okay. Kinda need chains for this to work, but it's all right. Let's just beer here. Ugh. It's 50-50, but this will make it 100%. Okay. We're going to next round with two magnifying glasses, which feels good. You just need chains and a knife. Actually, we need two- one chain, a magnifying glass, and a knife. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, crud. I forgot about it. His crud. Dang it. Okay. Oh my god! Bro, chains? Okay. At least we got chains. Yeah, this is looking kind of impossible. He has three magnifying glass, never mind. Dang, okay. There's four rounds left in there, which is pretty bad. Jeez. Okay, but chances are that he beers some of them, right? Don't know. But he can't bear them all. Okay, nice. So there should be three rounds left and one blank. So I think I'm boned. This should be a live round. Okay, this next one. Oh, no, he's now he's magnifying glassing, which is not great. Very interesting. Okay. He's putting the chains on me, and then he's shooting me. Hope slowly dwindled as I manically open up more and more buckshot runs until my computer finally crashes. After a quick reset, I decided to take it slower this time and just run two games, putting all my faith into these two little runs. I could do it with knife magnifying glass. Cigarettes? No. <laughs> magnifying glass, magnifying glass. Chains. Dang. 
should have saw it. 50-50! 50-50! Come on! Come on, baby, 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 baby. Yes! Oh, yes! Last round, baby. What are we looking at? Cigarettes? Okay, magnifying glass? Okay, this is interesting. Do I shoot myself for the 66? Or do I use all my items here? I don't think I should use all my items here. I think I should save them. Yeah, I think I should just shoot myself for the 66 and then pray for the best. Okay, yep. And then we'll just use chains here. Uh, just shoot him once. It's a blank, that's awesome. That's awesome. Use the knife for free. Free two damage. All right. I have no idea what we need here. This is when it goes into four and four, right? We would need a knife at least. We need to shoot him twice, one with a knife. So we need a beer here then. There we go. Chains. I think that's just about the best items I could have got. I should actually think this through for a second. Okay. There's four rounds in there right now, right? He has a beer and two magnifying glass. Okay. So there's eight rounds in there. Let's start with magnifying glass. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Then we... Chains. Knife. That'll do two damage, right? So then I'll bring him down to his last life. Right? Okay. I am ready. Come on! Oh my god, this could actually happen! Okay, so there's more blanks in there right now, so we beer. That really sucks. Please, 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 please. Yes! Oh my god! Holy crap! This is it! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's over! Oh my god, I did it! Holy crap, this took so long! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh my god! Holy crap! How much money do I get for all that? I didn't get shot a single time, man! That should be at least worth 70k. Dang. 69 though, that's pretty good. Oh my god, I can't believe I got it! Oh my god, I have to edit this video now. Special thanks to my club Nika for creating this wonderful game, my girlfriend Tuesday for playing the first three hours of this with me and letting me steal two of her jokes in this video, and whatever random Australian VTuber I saw playing Buckshot in my TikTok live feed. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, bye! Oh, and if you're wondering where I got that massive number in the thumbnail, I completely made that up. Like, I'm sure it's probably that unlikely to do, but I have no idea how to calculate that. If you're a nerd, do it in the comments. Or don't.